Okay, Calibri pipe at lighter. This one seems to be holding gas. It's basically brand new. Got a nice adjustable flame to it. More than you'll ever need. But uh, these are somewhat popular. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through this and you know, because uh, I'm going to turn around and sell it, and I don't want to sell something without going through it, and making sure that it's uh, working appropriately and the seals are in good shape, you know. I want to put something out there that's uh, not going to uh, perform very long. So, I'm going to tear this thing apart and go through it. Now these do have uh, plastic internal tanks, but the uh, plastic on them is, is not acrylic, so it makes them a lot more durable than these newer lighters today that have acrylic tanks. out remember how this goes in guys just like that There's only one way that can go in there all right basically when you uh, turn this on a little lever lifts up on the gas valve on the inside and starts putting gas up through the hose out through your valve here all right. All right. Oh, you have a little C clip right here that uh, needs to be taken out. Take this uh, brass flint tube off. We can remove it. And we'll see if this hose will come off here without being. Sometimes these hoes, they've been on there for so long that uh, they don't want to come off without breaking. Well, I think we'll get this one off all right. Seems like it's still pretty durable, not hard. I think we're good there. 
looked out there. Alright, check out everything here. Let's take off a flame adjustment. Thumb wheel there. And you can see down in here that there's only really one way that this is going to come off here. You got to take this internal valve out. You see these two notches right here. That's how the only way that that's going to come out. But. First thing I want to do is take this fill valve out and we'll, we'll go from there. Double check all the seals. that that's uh yeah that's that wasn't gonna work for very much longer let's see here see what size we need six millimeter six millimeter See what I got in here. I'll use one of these. I'll use one of these. Just, just a second here, guys. pretty close. We're going to use this 5.1. Mm. 
two. I say go right here. There's one we're going to use right there. Slider looks to be used very little, so it's still going to have the original seals on it. Yeah, that fit perfectly there. You know that seals really good. That's a good seal. Yes, it is. A nice seal. But let me see how it's going to look. Mm. Turn that around. I think we're good. We're good. We are good there. Let's check it out, the spring. We're good to go there. So, done.
That's good as well. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, inner vowel on this. Yeah, yeah, this is these uh come out the opposite way. If I remember right. Been a long time since uh worked. I think these have uh, reverse threads on from right. Yeah. Let's check out the uh, pliability of these old rings in here. Let's see if they're oh. pretty good. Don't be over. And it's about two millimeter clearance, so let's see. I think these will work. Let's just see which one I need to use here. Try this one. But let me put it on here. Oh, yeah. I think we got her. Uh, 
There's that one. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Looks like we got a four and a half. So I'm guessing we'll go for a five millimeter on that. I'm guessing this here will work right here. That's it, guys. Those are two size O rings that you want for that. Okay, now. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this open here. Not so critical on this because stopper seems to be in good shape, but uh still ought to, if I can. If I can I still need to check it out. I see this here rubber flat seal here you don't have to worry about that all right uh, it's these are usually pliable see how pliable that is reason is is this really doesn't see any gas it's just a seal around this here unless you need to replace it most generally I've never ever seen have to replace one of them all right See if I can get this out of here. There's that. Everything is clean inside there. Let's double check this stopper. That stopper looks excellent. Have to do a test on it to see if it's pliable. Oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. We don't even have to mess with that stopper. We're in good shape there. And we got two 
we got two washers here. Okay. One of these is metal on the bottom. It's toward the spring. And one of these is rubber. Alright. And we're going to be good on those two. Excellent. So all we got to do now is just stuff this back down in there. And put everything back together here. You see how many seals are in that? There's a stopper. Okay, and there's rubber on the inside, so that's two, three, four. Okay. Alright, now let's see what we got in here. You can take this out if need. Let me uh, get some butane in there and uh, see if I can blow that sponge out. Sponge seems to be working okay, but just let me check it. fits on top of the sponge. The reason there's a piece of brass in there so when you screw this here down um, the, the sponge is right beneath the brass, right? So when you're screwing this down it doesn't deform the sponge. Okay? It just keeps your sponge uh, in good shape. So when you're screwing it down you're actually not, you know, deforming the sponge by having it directly on top of this. You know, this here acts like a little spacer to keep your sponge in good shape. Probably shouldn't even mess with this, but I'm going to just for the fact that we got it down this far. sponge is basically new guys see that it's not grimy anything it's it's a brand new sponge so and you can see where the washer was sitting on top you 
Now, just like that. And this, just like this. Okay. What I'm going to do is there's, I'm not going to take this out because this, this isn't going to be leaking. Okay. If it isn't leaking now and all, I took these out and replaced these because these seals actually are movable seals. Okay. Uh, they do need to seal because of the, uh, uh, flame adjustment area and everything here. The seal underneath this that holds this valve assembly down into the top of the gas tank is basically it's a non uh, movable seal. So and this is good. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, not go to the depth of taking this off. Now you can if you have to, but only. The only way I would is, you know, if it's leaking around there, and I just don't see that really leaking at all, okay? I have taken them apart before just to check them out and whatnot, but when you do take this off of here, this brass, you, for one thing, you got to find the appropriate tool. This is very wide, okay? And and you'll have to probably, if you're going to do that, you might, I have to make something like this to get down there to do it. And you got to loosen it a little bit of time. And you got to be careful that you don't mess up your uh, brass flame uh, brass flame piece right here. Anyway, another reason is, too, is that uh, when you do take this off, this base here uh, and this here roller simply will come off. And there's a ball bearing down in there. You see how this snaps like this? There's a ball bearing in there, okay? It's actually inside this roller. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this here uh, spark wheel off. It's the only thing I'm going to do. I'm going to do that uh, right now. We're good there. And clean a little bit in here too while we're at it. If you're down this far, you know, you might as well take take the grime off of it. Q-tips. Turn it clean anyway, see? This lighter hasn't had a whole lot of use on it. I bet, bet the use that's on this lighter was probably just uh, when they tested when they made it and maybe somebody had bought it and used it for a little bit or never got around to using it. But, uh, Excellent shape. This is a flint tube, you might as well clean that out while you're at it. Wait if there's any dust in there. 
excellent shape and we're good there all right now we're going to go ahead and put this sponge back in here There's that. Now you see the little slit in that, guys? Alright? You want the slit on the bottom. And you say, well, what's the slit for? The slit's for when you unloosen it, it allows uh, uh, butane to come up through the slit and around the edges, okay? Just to help get gas is what it basically amounts to. It's just to yeah, put that in there. Of course, it doesn't want to land. I uh, wonder how many times I got to drop that in there. the second time I think maybe third time's a charm we're good we're good all right these are new seals I don't really feel no need to clean as clean as this thing is here to really have to put any grease on that. Alright. So I'm just gonna sit that back in there and get it started here. That's pretty tight right there. Let's just leave it like that. <coughs> what I want to do now is, is uh, put that back on. There was a piece of foam that was kind of underneath that. But, uh, yeah, let's see if I got a piece of foam.
And there's a piece of foam that was underneath that. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put this on. Now, what we're going to do is now is uh, put some uh, butane in here, get our flame adjustment figured out. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got plenty of butane in there. Top it off. You get a when you get a valve like that. It's got a rubber seal on a solid pan. This is what you want to use. It's got an offset hole in it. Okay. All right. Now I probably could use a. Uh, my modified, uh, yeah, I could use that too, but I won't. This would probably work better anyway. All right, now we got that. Now, I'm going to put uh, this back in here. See if I can remember which way I told you. I, hold on, man. I gotta draw up. I gotta draw up close here, so I can see what I'm doing. Right there we go. valve up a little bit, tighten her down too much. There's a slight, slight bit of gas coming through there. Let's see what we got now. There we go. All right, let's set that on a Set them on a low flame. I'm guessing that's going to be a good low flame. Alright. Now let's take that back off of there. And uh, we can see that our low flame is on this side here. So... Take this back off for a moment. Okay. And let's get this on. Okay, now let's just kind of put this cap on and see if we got that. Actually, I think we're good there. 
Just going to leave it there. Because we had more than enough flame before. right here with that hose got that hose just a little bit down too far on top of that uh, metal activation lever I just want to pull it up a little bit there we go Perfect right there. There's that. There's that. Don't screw these down tight guys, just snug them.
Okay. Now I'm going to put a Austrian Austria soft flint in there. This is these guys are cutting these. I got my designed flint. Same company that makes them for Dunhill. That tells you anything. This is a high amount of gas coming out of there, guys. All right. There's probably still some air in this tank. When you take a valve out of the tank, let me show you something. See how that's kind of just erratic flame? Give that a little time for that to sit up in there. Okay, just a second. I'm going to take this off and uh, push down that uh, just a moment here. Check the adjustment on this. Flame is not going out as quick as it should. I'm going to turn the valve off. a little bit and say well why am I going to do that well you know it took that stopper out so could be just not bitch I had it out of there and I put it in a different position could be just not mating down quite enough like it should guessing that uh, I'll take this I'll kind of lift that stopper up and rub it down or push it down a little bit but I think that's probably what I needed to do right here is just take a little bit out of that That's it. I think we're good to go now. Okay. 
These aren't necessarily a hard layer to work on. It was hard for me prior to getting the proper O-rings because, you know, most of the O-rings in the United States that they sell are a one millimeter cord size. There's only two that uh, uh, O-rings and more cells that aren't. Um, a one millimeter cord size or 0.67, I think a 0.68 but they're a shirt size and diameter so it isn't like you can just use them you know for everything so I spent a year more than a year just trying I, I emailed 10 of the top companies at least spoke with people over the phone here in the United States about and they have them on their website they have these right these cord sizes that are small and like I needed but uh, you know you might have to spend $300 to $800 and order so many of them on each individual size because what they're gonna do is is they're gonna charge you to make a mold and uh, you know uh, <laughs> So, you know, yeah, they, they can make it for you, but boy, you're going to pay. All right? There's just no sense of that. So, I accidentally stumbled on it. The supplier and, and uh, okay, it's still not going out completely like I should. the deal let me think about this for a minute the stopper stoppers not working well here we go let's do this all over again Check this. See what we got going here. Yes, yeah, the stopper. Okay. In order to tackle this and, uh, get it done I'm just going to get her done special tool out here somewhere a little bitty one for I'll be right here for my nose somewhere well maybe this will work
stopper on that Let's try another stopper. Let's get one out of here. See if this will work. When you run into, you know, replacing stoppers and you don't really have the exact one you need, this is where you run into problems. If I remember right, I had to do this before because I had to replace a stopper on one of these. got a larger diameter stem on it, 0.8. So what that means is, yes, I got the bore out inside that valve. too small. So
Just a second here. down this far, you know, you might as well take, take the grime off of it. Q-tips. Fairly clean anyway, see? This lighter hasn't had a whole lot of use on it. I bet, bet the use that's on this lighter was probably just uh, when they tested when they made it and maybe somebody had bought it and used it for a little bit or never got around to using it. But, uh, Excellent shape. This is a flint tube, you might as well clean that out while you're at it. Wait if there's any dust in there. Excellent shape, and yeah, we're good there. Alright, now ahead and put this sponge back in here There's that. Now you see the little slit in that, guys? Alright? You want the slit on the bottom. And you say, well, what's the slit for? The slit's for when you unloosen it, it allows uh, uh, butane to come up through the slit around the edges, okay? Just to help get gas is what it basically amounts to. It's just to yeah, put that in there. Of course, it doesn't want to land. I uh, wonder how many times I got to drop that in there. No. 
this a second time. I think maybe third time's a charm. We're good. We're good. Alright. These are new seals. I don't really feel no need to clean as clean as this thing is here to really have to put any grease on that. Alright. So I'm just gonna sit that back in there and get it started here. That's pretty tight right there. Let's just leave it like that. <coughs> what I want to do now is, is uh, put that back on. There was a piece of foam that was kind of underneath that. But, uh, yeah, let's see if I got a piece of foam. The foam that was underneath that. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put this on. Now, what we're going to do is now is, uh, some uh, butane in here. Get our flame adjustment figured out. seal on a solid pen this is what you want to use it's got an offset hole in it okay all right now I probably could use uh, my modified uh, yeah I could use that too but I won't this would probably work better anyway all right now we got that now, I'm going to put uh, this 
back in here. See if I can remember which way I told you. I, hold on, man. I gotta draw up. I gotta draw up close here so I can see what I'm doing. Right there we go. Something on a low flame. I'm guessing that's gonna be a good low flame. Alright. Now let's take that back off of there. And uh, we can see that our low flame is on this side here. So Take this back off for a moment. Okay. And let's get this on. Okay, now let's just kind of put this cap on and see if we got that. Actually, I think we're good there. Just gonna leave it there. Because we had more than enough flame before. Scooter ever. There we go. We got that. 
that on. We're good there. There. Everything should be good. Now let's just go and do a little test. Well, you know what? I ain't gonna be able to do it that way because I don't have my flint in there. Well. Tweaking right here with that hose. Got that hose just a little bit down too far on top of that uh, metal activation lever. I just want to pull it up a little bit. There we go. Perfect right there. There's that. There's that. thinking I will there though. Like you guys get to see me do something twice. Yeah, it has happened before. More times than you see, because sometimes uh, I'll just edit the video, but I try not to. I try not to do this on the camera because it takes such a freaking effort to. You know, to edit one of these high definition videos of mine, I'm feeling like I'm forgetting something. Just let me think here, because I'm yakking. And... Okay. That's on that, 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 that. And this. Uh, we're good to go. Yeah, I believe we're good to go. Just need my screw. that my flint screw my flint right here and uh, I got enough beat 
butane in the bottom of it. I tried to get that started on there without. I like to keep these. You can tell this thing's fairly new. There ain't no scratches around here. All right. Plenty of flame adjustment. Still got some air in the tank. Ain't a big deal. Now you see how the flame goes off quick. Guys, there we are, man. Anybody interested in one of these firebirds? Got one here. Look at here. That's real, real warranty here. I think that's what that is, and it's got the original even directions to it. say almost as new as you're gonna find guys that's one to get